Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to share you how you can create your own checkout page on Canva. So this checkout page that we're about to make are the checkout page for a Canva website. I have already created mine beforehand, so if you haven't made yours, you can go ahead and create it first. Canva's website is very easy to make, so again, if you haven't created your website on Canva yet, please feel free to create it first and then go back to my video and see how you can create a checkout page for your website. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new page at the very end of my web and then I'm going to use this last page as my checkout page. To create the checkout page, we will have to get the help from another platform and this is a platform that I'm going to use today which is squareup.com so the first thing we want to do is obviously to create an account as you can see over here you can create your account by entering your email your password your location etc and i'm going to fill those details first off screen and then i'm going to get back to you after we finish all that and now square up i'm going to ask about what kind of business are you're working on they have selections of choices that you can choose and you can go ahead and choose the one that is suitable the most for you and i'm just going to choose individual for now and then you can also add up your business name so i'm going to go ahead and type in another type jewelry because that is the name of my business as well as my website or just another type for short and then you can also insert your phone numbers and they're going to need this for verification later so make sure you enter the right one and then enter your estimated annual revenue and i'm going to check the i have a mobile business because i don't really have a shop for that as you can see you cannot really skip the phone number one but for this tutorial i'm just going to go ahead and enter the zero for my phone number and then we're going to go ahead and click next and then we're going to want to insert the kind of business that we run. So I actually sell handmade jewelry. So I'm going to go ahead and try and search that. And here they are. It's under jewelry and watches in retail. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I'm going to click on next. And this is the form for payments that we're going to take. You can choose the payment that you like to take up here. You can choose from some of these selections over here i'm just going to choose zero link to collect payment because we're going to connect this with canva and then squareup.com are going to give you a recommendation of checkout system that you can use i'm just going to skip that for now and then let's go ahead and go to the next step and the next steps of creating our online checkup are just some details that we can feel Actually, some of them are skippable. So if you don't feel like inserting it for now, for example, like this one, these are the hardware that Square Up offers, but because I don't have an actual shop, I'm just going to go ahead and skip it from now. And they're also going to show you what else you can do with Square Up, such as you can do team communication, email marketing, team management, you can track shift, you can also do text message marketing, etc. You can use all of this and explore everything on square later but for today we're just going to focus on how to create our online checkout next you're going to want to determine the way you get paid they have two options the first one is the next business day transfer and the second one is the same day transfer but you can see that the same day transfer have some fee on it so you will have to pay 1.75 percent of fee I'm good with the next business day transfer, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that one and then click next. All right, now we already created our account and we finally got a Square Up dashboard. What we're going to do is that we're going to scroll all the way down and then we're going to click on the online checkout button to finally create our online checkout. Next, the set up your link pop-up are going to show and we're going to want to choose collect a payment and then over here we can insert any details of the product that we want. For example, this online checkout are going to be specifically for a product of mine and I'm going to put 
daisy ring for my title. And then I'm also going to insert the price of my product. So I'm going to go ahead and insert $35. And over here, you can also choose whether you want your link to be used only just one time or weekly, etc. I'm just going to click on one time for now. And over here, I'm going to add the descriptions of my product. Next, we're going to want to upload a pictures of a product. And over here, I'm just going to adjust it. You can also zoom in or out on the pictures by simply dragging on this bar under the picture. And then after we're done and we're satisfied with the pictures, we're going to go ahead and click next. And now we're going to click on create a link. All right, so our link is done. So what we're going to do is that we're going to copy this link later. But first, we're going to want to come back to Canva and start designing our checkout page. When designing our checkout page, what we're going to do is that we want to make sure that this page is going to match with the rest of our web page. So what I did was that I am simply copying the element that is already existing on the other page of my website and then I am going to put it into my latest page. And I'm going to do the same with the wording or the text too. So what I did was that I take one of the texts from my web page and then I just copy it and paste it into the checkout page. And then I am just going to change out the wording as well as adjusting the pictures. And then I'm just going to add some more details so that people know what is the product that I want them to check out or what are they doing on my checkout page. All right, so I ended up adding a pictures, the name of the pictures, because I want this page to be a card for a special clearance product. And then I also created a button that says add to cart. And the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to put a link into this text right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on link. And then I'm going to copy the link that we have already created on Square Up. Put the link over there and then click save now that we added the link to the text what i'm going to do is that i also going to add the link to the button element because i want people to go to the link by clicking either the text or the button so i'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing like what i did with the text and that's it I've already added my button, I've added my link too, but somehow I'm not really satisfied with how my checkout page looks like. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to redesign it. Instead of adding just plain background, I'm going to add a pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and type out jewelry. And on the element sections, as you can see, now there's a lot of jewelry pictures coming up. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose one pictures that I feel like suitable as my background. All right, now that I'm satisfied with the design of my checkout page, I'm going to go ahead and publish my website. And to do that, you can just go ahead and click on the publish website button on the top right of your screen. And then you're going to click on continue on the next menu. And then we're going to wait until our web page or our website is finished being published. Alright, now that our website is published, we're going to see whether the checkout page is working or not. So we're going to go ahead and click on view website and we're going to check directly on that page. So here is the website, this is the first page, and then there is an introduction page, etc. We're going to just scroll all the way down and then try to click on the button. I'm going to click on the text first. And as you can see, it's going to bring me directly into the checkout page. And now I'm going to try again and click on the button element and let's see if it works. And as you can see, it also works just as well as if I click on the text. 
So that is why I want to put the link on my button as well as on my text so that wherever my client is clicking, they're going to be able to go to the same link page. And that is how you can create your own checkout page on Canva website. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.